another man poison. I strongly believe that the scroll is true, and I'm convinced to also believe that whoever thought of that saying have experienced the situation of a man touching another man's property and it end up by paying the price of his life. It is less likely that the man who the meat belongs to would win. It's not yours. Why touch it? A lot of times in life, people tend to touch other people's property. Not a lot of people with good is good with being satisfied with what they have. They also like to go out and fish for more. Sometimes being ambitious is good, but not ambitious for other people's stuff. You can be ambitious by wanting a better house, but not wishing someone's dead so you can take their house. I believe that this saying is true because, for example, if you put a puppy and a big puppy and a big dog in the room, if you give both of them the same kind of food and the same amount of food, the dog is going to try and eat the puppy's food, or the puppy is going to try and eat the dog's food. But the difference is the puppy might get beaten. Lastly, I believe the saying is true because that's basically what's happening in our today's society. Men are fighting men for their wives. One man can seem to have a wife on his own. It is rare to find a loyal woman that will stay faithful to his man. Any man who should try to be faithful, it's hard because this man in the streets are going to try and convince her. That's why there is another saying that said, these women are for everybody. Amen. Amen. Let's go to, I'll make the last.